$1.5 billion project to make downtown an even better entertainment des destination. But as Fortnite Corner Sam Sosa is here to explain, business owners in this area have been fighting parts of this plan since the beginning. Sam? Well, Lisa, you see some of these parking spaces behind me. They're along the street here. Once this project is done, they won't be here anymore. They're actually expanding the sidewalk to make more room for foot traffic. But business owners worry that won't leave anywhere for their customers to park. One, two, three. Cape Council members break ground on the Southeast 47th Terrace Streetscape project, but not everyone in the downtown area is thrilled about some of the details. I think we were all hoping that they would leave the on-street parking. As you can see right now, our lots are full. Parking lots full on a Thursday at 3 o'clock. Without any street parking, Carrie Krieg, owner of Merrick Seafood, worries customers won't make it to her business. Not to mention street barricades will block her entrance during construction. If our customers aren't able to get to our front door, that in, in turn is going to affect the way that we're able to, you know, stay in business, support our employees. And I think a lot of downtown is excited. I don't think the city paid uh, enough attention to the impact as far as parking is concerned. Longtime business owner Elmer Tabor worries about parking too. However, Mayor Joe Caviello says that's something they can fix later if needed. Once the project is complete, we'll reevaluate the possibility of needing a parking structure. And that's something that we'll look at as we finish the project. Now, the owner of Merrick Seafood hopes that the city, if anything, considers putting a loading zone in front of her restaurant so customers can park there for the time being and access her restaurant. I asked the mayor about that, and he says they've already accommodated that request. I'm live in Cape Coral, Sam Sosa, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you, Sam.